Hey everybody, welcome back to Hob Good Homestead Foam. Um, back on YouTube, I'm going to do a little broadcast video here. Um, it would have not let me do the broadcast on YouTube channel because I don't have the 50 or 1,000 subscribers yet. So, um, I'm praying that y'all go to my YouTube channel hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to see more videos, and also like my videos too. So, um, but what I'm going to actually ask and all, um, that I got a couple projects I'm going to do down now. Um, one is a chicken house on chicken coop. Another one is, um, the cabin. We got a cabin down there. Uh, the other one was the pond. I know y'all see a lot of the pond videos down there. Like so. Um, and then also, um, what else was it? The tree. Oh, that's part of the cabin. Yeah. So, um, the first thing is the the dog house. Um, I have bought a dog house about 10 or 11 years ago. Might even be shorter than that. Um, I bought the dog house for my dog Macy um, when she was alive. She passed away now. Um, she pretty much was an outside dog and an inside dog once in a while. I brought her in during the winter time. Um, and then in the spring and all, she usually stays out and all, like so, and kind of stays out there and watch over the land and all for us, oh, around the house or whatever she goes. But um, since she passed away now, so now I bought a dog house, I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use it for. So, that would be a great idea to actually do a chicken coop out of the dog house. So, um, that's pretty much was my plan. I'm going to move my camera back a little bit. Well, um, you can see me a little bit. So, that's what my plan is doing. So, um, I'm going to recreate that deal into a chicken coop. So, taking dog house into the chicken coop. So, I will bring you all along for that video and do that there too. Um, the next thing is... Uh, I'm going to actually talk about the pond. We got a, about, well, we got a three acre pond on top, and then we got a, a about, maybe one, maybe one, one fourth acre pond down to the woods. So, um, about, I want to say 12 years ago, um, we have a group of beavers come into the property. Uh, we all think beavers are nice and cute. Maybe they, they won't do new destructors or whatever. I know. Well, come, around, come find out one day I was walking down to the bottom pond. I know. A matter of fact, it was actually up top. I know. All of a sudden, they saw them cutting the trees down, and here's the ground hill, and here's the tree, the top of the tree. This was about that high there, and into the pond there. So, and then all of a sudden, they started digging into our driveway. Our driveway goes across uh, the dam there. And, um, so, they started digging into the driveway. Underneath the driveway, I said, Ew, yeah, nah, uh-uh. So, and half, now half of the driveway is started to crinkle a little bit, and I, on one end. So, then all of a sudden, they started moving from the top pond down to the bottom pond. And what happened is now, they have dug straight through of the bottom pond down. And now, when it rains... The water, when the water rises, it goes straight through of uh, the dam there, down at the bottom pond. So, 
Um, so now I gotta get all that fixed up, and also now I'm cutting all the trees down on both sides, or pretty much both sides of the dam now, where I can eventually fix both sides of it and kind of keep that water from going straight through where I can have it go back around and out and go back down towards the creek. And also we got a creek down there too. It's a small little creek and uh, when it rains it's usually filled up with water and we have tons of rain. So, um, but now, yeah, so now it, um, so yeah, so now it's just uh, dried up now because it's heat. We've been having 98 degrees weather here in the state of North Carolina. So, and it's hard to get out. We all know it's hard to get outdoors once or out if it's hot outside. I know. But, um, but that's the next project what I'm planning on doing. And also, um, I'll probably bring you along also um, we have um, a couple of grapevines, wild grapevines, and also a couple of other fruit trees. Um, we are going to eventually be pruning back again. So we got some new wood. We're going to rebuild the the wild muxedine grapevines and we build them and get them growing back up and hopefully we can do stuff on that we got a couple um we got a couple pawpaw trees i know um we just got two more pawpaw we only got two pawpaw trees in the ground already so we're actually having two we just got two more pawpaw trees pawpaw um i'm going to tell you what the pawpaw is pawpaw is like a native fruit um if you don't know what pawpaw is and all, um, it's like this. It's like a tastes like to me. It tastes like a banana, um, but the pawpaws uh, won't go. You can't. Um, you can harvest them, but it's bad on transport them um, because they will get very bruised on them. So. Um, I might write, write a little description down in the bottom and all like so on my YouTube channel and when you go you can learn more about the pawpaws like so um, we got pawpaws we got um, a little fig tree I'm trying to get grown up and all a little bit better I might have to eventually go get another fig tree and all where I can get it about this high like so and stop getting it big over I can get get fruit off of that um, we got two peach trees we got one big apple tree um, we got an apricot tree we got a pear tree I like to get another pear tree to cross pollinate with that pear tree well we can actually get some pears off of that tree so we got that so um pretty much our land is like an ultra land so um we got a lot of fruits and all we're trying to out some new fruits on the land and all so that's pretty much what we've been doing Every, oh trying to kind of get up trying to get our produce out trying to um own a little bit money to the land there I know, but kind of keep the land kind of just how God wants it to be. Um, what else? Um, talked about the doghouse, talked about the pond, talked about the the grapevines, what we're going to do during the winter. Oh, also, um, we got a cabin on the land. I know, like I said, we've been walking on lately. Um, we are actually going to eventually all the pretty much the roof around the cabin except for the add-on to the cabin. Um, we had an add-on to the cabin and uh, we didn't build, build that but um, we, but we do have one roof on the cabin there 
Um, we have not replaced it. That, oh, the pump house. We got a little pump house. That's where all, all, all of our water comes into. So um, we have to replace the roof on top of that and the pump house both too. So that probably be a kind of a fall project when it starts getting cold off and all. That might be a fall project on that one. So um, I might take, I might bring y'all along for that there too, you know. And also, we just got some new windows put in about a couple of weeks ago. Also, I didn't show y'all none of that, you know. Um, I might try to show just so what we did to the cabin and what we did to the land, you know. Um, also. Um, I did bring y'all, oh, I tried to bring y'all on to the last video i done, uh, doing the pine fertilizer. I forgot my GoPro. I apologize on that. Um, I've got to bring my GoPro. My GoPro died on me. Um, so, hopefully I'm going to try to get some more batteries where I can put another battery in the GoPro where I can have that and also make some... This phone here stay full of charge also, but I can do a little video of the pond too. So what we're going to do also is I'm going to put some more fertilizer into the top pond. And also I might start putting the fertilizer in the bottom pond to kind of help the fish um, more battle like so. So I'll bring y'all along on that one. And also... Um, I'm going to clear some more trees back and also back behind the pump house um, I got a spot where I'm going to put a garden at for next year so I know um, I can bring y'all along with that I have a garden there and all and kind of stop doing the garden a little bit more better so trying to get the homestead a little bit more up to date and also if you got any questions or comments that y'all want me to answer or for me to try to answer I know um feel for feel um feel uh fully to leave a comment down below um to answer any questions that y'all might have for me or whatever and I will try to um answering those questions as fast as, the, as I can so but I hope you all have a wonderful wonderful Thursday afternoon um, this video will probably be posted today and I but most of y'all might not see it until tomorrow or um, the next day or whatever so I hope you all have a wonderful day like I said earlier um, hit that like button Hit the notification, oh, subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more of these videos. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day and God bless. Have a good day.